uh, of Georgia. And this is a kind of a small field trial, the effect of linseed expeller on daily weight gain, dry matter intake, uh, feed efficiency, and the levels of interleukin-1 and resolving E1 in pre win Holstein uh, dairy calves. So, uh, as you know, the reading heifers um, is a very important uh, part of the, any production cycle in, in the dairy, and we have to do at the largest investment of the dairy farm, uh, because this is the future of the dairy. Uh, the genetic potential is there. The young animals, uh, they are supposed to be better than their mothers, because the, the genetic uh, level, if we're using a good selection process. Uh, so, in order to uh, reach that uh, uh, improvement, we, we need uh, an efficient early development, and we need to do a good transition from monogastric to ruminant stages uh, in the calves. Remember, when calves are born, are monogastric, and we need to transition from that monogastric to uh, the ruminant stage through an adequate colostrum management, disease prevention strategies, a well-organized feed management program, and of course, uh, an appropriate housing and animal uh, welfare uh, management. On the other hand, uh, we know that lipids are highly energetic nutrient provided by uh, milk and concentrate during the first month in the life of calves, uh, natural cattle uh, receiving milk from, from mom in the beef cattle industry. In the dairy, we have to provide either uh, pure milk or uh, replacers, uh, which are also uh, rich in, in fat. Uh, in, 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 within this fat, we have the linoleic and linolenic acid. Uh, those are 18 carbon uh, polyunsaturated fatty acid. Uh, the linoleic is uh, two uh, double uh, bounds, and the linolenic is a three uh, double bounds. So they are so-called omega-3, the linoleic, uh, the linolenic, and omega-6, the linoleic acid. Okay, and they are considered essential for animals due to their inability uh, to produce it in the body. So they have to be provided by the diet. Linseed is a, a very interesting uh, seed uh, where uh, oil is extracted and what is left as a byproduct is a meal. Uh, and independent of the process of the extraction, we have what is the so-called linseed meal or linseed expeller. Uh, when it's a uh, meal, it's because the process is through solvent system, and the, what is left, the meal, is high in protein, 36 to 39 percent protein, crude protein, and 6 to 8 percent of ether extract, with half uh, or 50 percent of this oil being omega 3 fatty acid. Uh, this omega-3 fatty acid has been uh, demonstrated they can modulate the immune response in kind of a uh, anti-inflammatory effect compared with other kind of uh, fat which have more pro-inflammatory effect. So this is the uh, extraction system. It's an expeller machine. It's a by pressure and we have the expeller uh, with a lower level of uh, temperature and more oil. Um, in general, as I said, the omega-6 fatty acids are more, in general, more pro-inflammatory precursors, and the omega-3 fatty acid, uh, which is this uh, linseed expeller, have role as an anti-inflammatory uh, precursor. Uh, this omega-3 fatty acid being demonstrated that uh, when you supplement this product, enhance the expression of some uh, pro-resolving oxylipids, such as resolving and protecting, helping in the healing process uh, after an inflammation. So the objective of this study was to determine the effect of linseed expeller as an ingredient of the starter for Holstein dairy calves from zero to two months of age on the daily weight gain, feed intake, feed efficiency, the levels of interleukin-1, and the level of resolving E1 in serum. The study was conducted in a commercial Chilean dairy farm Cows were milked three times a day and fed at TMR based on corn silage and alfalfa hay and concentrate. And dry cows were moved to a preparton group 30 days before expected parturition. 
After calving, the offspring was separated immediately from the mother, and calves received high-quality pasteurized colostrum within the first four hours of life. Each calf was moved to individual hatches, and pasteurized discard milk was fed 3 liters a.m. and 3 liters p.m., plus water, and started beginning at three days uh, of age. Any health event was treated immediately according to established standard protocols. Uh, in order to calculate a sample size, we expected a difference in 1.5 kilo at uh, winning with a 95% confidence and 80% of statistical power. We determined a sample size of 20 uh, caps uh, per group. These caps were randomly allocated at delivery and the animals must be eligible uh, coming from cows that had normal and standing, uh, per, I'm sorry, standard drying period and delivery. The treatment group, uh, which uh, the starter was based in linseed uh, expeller, was supplemented with the, uh, this started with a 25% as a dry matter basis of linseed expeller, and the control group was based on canola at the same level of incorporation, 25% dry matter basis. Both started were isonitrogenous and isoenergetic. Because canola and, and uh, linseed are very similar in protein content and oil content, the, the big difference is just the uh, kind of uh, fatty acid. Uh, in, in the case of canola, they are omega-6. In the case of linseed, are omega-3. So this is uh, the diet. Um, you see the difference. A zero in the canola and zero in the linseed in the case of canola expeller. The nutritional composition, these are 24% crude protein concentrate, both very similar, but the big difference is the content of omega-3. The canola-based uh, starter had only 4.9% versus 20.8% the uh, linseed expeller-based uh, starter. Cats were uh, were weighed um, at birth, 30 and 60 days uh, of age. Starting intake was evaluated daily from day five to six uh, days old. A blood sample was obtained uh, at birth, 14, 28, 35, and 60 days of age. And serum resolving E1 and interleukin 1 were assayed by a commercial ELISA kit. Statistical analysis, daily gain and feed efficiency from 0 to 30, 30 to 60, and 0 to 60, they were analyzed by the GLM, ANOVA, and feed intake, interleukin 1, resolving E1, were analyzed by mixed model ANOVA for repeating measures. Results. Uh, here we can see the dry matter intake the, in the overall period. There was no difference in the dry matter intake. Uh, the final weight, they doubled the weight at, at birth uh, in both cases, and also the final weight wasn't different. The daily gains were not different at the same time. Feed efficiency also, they were not different, as you can see in these uh, large uh, p-values. Now, uh, even this was not part of the objective, but this may explain why we found some difference in the interleukin and in the uh, resolvings. We have five cases of diarrhea in the canola group, and we have nine cases in the Lindsay group. Uh, even this wasn't significant, but still four more animals affected with a diarrhea uh, within the first week of age. So that is nothing related with the starter in this case, uh, because the event started even when they eat, uh, the, the, the starter was uh, late in life in, in the amount of uh, dry matter intake. Um, having said that, you see, again, the weight wasn't different at 0, 30, and 60 days. This is the dry matter uh, intake, and you see there were no different, but at the end, some days were more uh, amount uh, eaten by the canola group. Uh, some day, however, the interaction, the uh, time by treatment wasn't significant, and you know in repeated measures where the interaction is not significant, both curves are parallel. Uh, however, 
Here we have very interesting, at 21 days, we found a higher level of interleukin-1 in the linseed group, which is an indication of some inflammatory process. Okay, interleukin-1 is related also with aptoglobin. We don't have data here, but uh, the, the aptoglobin was analyzed later. I can tell you now, aptoglobin also was high in the linseed group which may be explained by the uh, number of calf with diarrhea, nine versus five. So we have like a difference at day 21 in the inter interleukin one. And you see then later, the resolving one is similar, but later at day 60, we have a peak in the resolving E1 um, compared to the canola group. Uh, this was interesting, and we think this may be related with the event of scour in these animals, okay? So, in conclusion, started with 25% of linseed expeller had the same effect on winning weight, average daily gain, and feed efficiency compared to starting with 25% of canola expeller. The concentration of resolving E1 and interleukin-1 were higher for uh, linseed than con uh, canola group, suggesting that omega-3 fatty acid increased the synthesis of anti-inflammatory mediators in young calf after a likely inflammation process, in this case, the four more cases of scour than uh, the other group. We don't know for sure if we have the same number of animal in both groups uh, with disease. Probably the result would have been different. We don't know for sure that. But we are happy that we have more cases and this may be explained because this potential effect of omega-3 fatty acid. Acknowledgement to University of Missouri, Terra Flax, Chile, University of Santo Tomas, a local university, and Colorado State University. Um, question, uh, that is my presentation. Thank you. <coughs>